Hey what is up guys welcome back to my channel this is episode 11 of the discord js guide and in this episode i'll be showing you some more quick db commands and also i'll be using the xp attribute of the user so let's jump straight into it i hope you'll enjoy now before i start with the new commands i'm going to be making some changes starting off let me go to start and in inventory i'm going to be removing the square brackets and replacing them with curly brackets and now i'm going to be adding in a new slot so the weapon has been added into the inventory and it's going to be a string so this is going to allow us to place a weapon inside this slot inside the inventory and for that i'm going to be making some changes here let me remove all of this and now i'm going to be doing if item is equal to sword open up curly brackets and now i'll do db.set open up the brackets open up backticks and now type in the key which is user underscore message.author.id and now I'm going to be accessing the inventory inside that and weapon inside that and this will equal to sort there we go so I've set the weapon the weapon slot inside the inventory to sort and now I'll do message.channel.send you have obtained a sword and there we go so now to make sure that the user does not buy another sword or this basically may cause some issues if the user buys another one even though he has one so i'll just do db.get if db.get user message.author.id and inv and weapon once again so now i'm checking if this is equal to sword and if this is equal I will do message or reply you already have this item and now I'll do an else proc right here and place this in so let me rerun this and test it out also I've changed the test command here to delete all of this so that it's easy to test and now let me test this out so let me do test first of all to remove all my progress and then do start and now let's do buy sword and there we go you have obtained a sword and let me do that once again and yeah you already have this item so that works fine and now I'm going to be going to the main commands of this episode so first let me do if command is equal to attack border commands dot get attack and execute message args and db so now let me make the new file attack.js and now let me fill this in And there we go. So now I'm going to be typing in the code inside here. So starting off, let's check if the user has a sword before using the command. So if dv.get user message author id dot inv dot weapon is equal to sword. Let's do. Yeah. So the com the code will be executed inside this and. Let me do an else block right here. So if the user does not have the weapon, you will need to buy a weapon before attacking. And there we go. So now time to put in the code. I'm going to be making a new variable right here. Let's call this rand1. And this will equal to mat.floor brackets mat.random and here is going to be the value so 
I'll keep it between 750 and 500 so max minus min inside the brackets plus min so this is going to be the amount of XP that the user gets once he attacks and now let me do db.add and access the XP which will be under dot XP and here I'll add brand one so there we go and then I'll do message dot channel dot send you have received rand one XP and there we go let me read on this now and test it out let's do attack and you have received 544 XP if I do test to reset everything and now try attack it says you need to buy weapon so let me do that once again buy sword and now let me attack and there we go I've received 707 XP there we go now let me just comment this and check out how much like let me just check out all my info so let's do this place this in and change this to get and now let me check it out once this reloads okay there we go and now let me do test and yeah so I have one weapon which is a sword and also I have 707 XP so there we go so based on this I'm gonna be making an info command now which gets your level XP and all that so let's do if command is equal to info bot.commands.get info and I'm going to be executing message args db and also discord because I'm going to be making this an embed now I'm going to make the file info.js and fill this in And there we go so now time to make the file let me just do something before beginning so let's do if or I can just copy this from the start command and yeah this so now let me go back to the info command so if the balance is equal to null which is only possible if the user has not used the economy command before I'll do message dot reply you first need to create account using exclamation mark start you could change it to the prefix if you want right there because this is the universal prefix and not the guild prefix of this server which I'm using right here but this is fine for now and let me do else so if the user does have an account I'm going to be creating the constant I mean the embed right here so let's do const embed equal to new discord message embed and set title Let's do message author usernames info and place a backspace here just to make sure that nothing wrong happens. And now I'm going to be adding some fields. So the first field will be user balance and the value will be equal to db.get user underscore message author id and then I'll just add the dot val at the end to get the balance and now time for the next field which will be you 
user primary weapon which would be the weapon which he uses right now there's only one weapon which is the sword but later on we're going to be adding more so let's do user underscore message author id once again and this time i'll do inf and weapon so there we go and also i'm going to be adding in user level which will be the user's level of course so based on this system what i'm going to be doing is each level is 1000 xp so if i had 1000 xp right here then my level would be one so now to make that i'm going to be creating a new variable let's call it level so let level equal to math.floor into db.get open a back text type in user underscore message author id dot xp so for example if my xp was 1000 it will be this divided by 1000 so floor make sure that this value is not in decimal so this will equal to zeros and yeah so it floors the value and make sure that it's not a decimal value and now let me type in level right here and there we go so we have the balance the primary weapon and the level now let me finish this off by setting a timestamp which won't have anything inside it let's also set a footer info command and now let me send this so let's do message let's do message of reply this time because i haven't done that with the embed and let me rerun this and now test it out first of all first of all once again let me just do the test command just to check this out and now let's do info and it gives out user balance undefined because it's equal to, it's supposed to be equal to zero but i haven't received any other uh, balance so let me do daily for example now and now do this and there we go we have 587 primary weapon is sword and level is zero so if i do attack right here and receive this much xp and now test this out it gives my user level as one so yeah that's basically how it works let me also add a color to this i forgot about that so let's do set color and let me make it orange rerun this for one last time and now let me do info and there we go we got the color right there the mention because message of reply balance my weapon and also the level right there and we got the footer and the timestamp as well so i think that's gonna be it for this episode i used the xp attribute here and also added in some more features i think i'm going to be visiting quick DB later on in the series so i'm going to be focusing on more tutorials going forward so yeah that's it for this episode please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed i'll see you in the next one